Good afternoon, race fans. Welcome back to Kern County Raceway for the K5 Kern County Championship. Tonight we're in the late model stocks. Um, we're really kind of misdriving this car since we put it, put it away after our late model stock season. This is a one lap qualifying effort. And we missed entry into one. Um, I can tell you right now that as per the times in practice, we are almost dead last to dead last in the, in the group today. So that's our qual run, one lap, 19.0, uh, and we were able to run an 18.750 something in practice. So I would imagine that's gonna be the back of the field for us. Um, we'll pick it back up when we hit the grid. Here's a look at the paint job for this evening. We're running Wicked Brew out of Moab, Utah. The black base, um, the red on the front is a nod to Natalie's shop color on it. So anyway, that's the paint we're running this evening. So we're sitting here on the grid. Um, we have 70 laps of fuel in the car to start the race. A competition caution will be thrown at lap 60 unless there's a caution before lap 60. Then the competition caution will be scrubbed. We're running 175 laps here this evening. Um, if we run hard, we can run the right front out in like 90 laps. We should have 0% on the right front the if we go hard. The so. The air temp is 101 Fahrenheit. So I don't know. 175 laps. P19. Try to figure it out. Um, car number 80 in the outside lane. We are kind of bottom of the barrel here. So. Okay, Frank, get ready. Not gonna lie. Um, shit, why is it my black box? Can jump to car number 80. There we go. gonna uncheck left side tires real quick before I forget we'll be packing it full of fuel I'm sure um, so yeah p19 out of 24 in the field this evening and um, yeah oh uh, that one lap qualifying caught a cut a few guys off guard so I think that's why we're not dead ass last but um, in practice, it seemed like everybody was within about two tenths on time for the whole field, so it should be should be pretty tight racing. Just gonna try to stay on the lead lap. If we can. Green, let's go, let's go. Setup this evening feels fairly stable. Not gonna lie, feels pretty stable. Um, we just gotta, I think we'll just try to roll with these guys and try to stay smooth on the wheel, P20. smooth on the inputs, and try not to crank it too hard getting into the corner, focus on um, corner exit if we can. Car inside. Just done at 90.00. Inside clear. 321. Your lap time worth inside. Still there. Everyone. Looks like Bryce. Getting loose off the corner. There we go. Got a lot of vehicles inside. Still there. We are low. Inside. Watch it. V23. Bottom clear. Okay. We'll tuck in, we'll start using the whole track. Start conserving things a little bit. I know that we can conserve and run fairly, fairly decent. That's your quickest lap in this session. We just roll it and use the whole track. Just 
Donna 19.44. Good luck. That's your quickest today. All right, Frank. Pit window open. We'll need to pit for fuel by lap 78. Got you, Jim. Got you. And we are in the middle of the day now, so we can look for the track start getting a bit warmer. 117, that's that's pretty warm. Probably going to pick up in temperature a little bit with the cars on it, with the sun on it. Clear weather today. Lots of sunshine on the track. Need to back up entry a little bit. Stop pushing the car in. Your last lap time was at Feel the 18. right front getting a little bit warm. Your quickest so far. 23rd place. John is usually pretty quick. I'm going to assume that he's on a tire strategy. Especially since the track is so much hotter than um, practice was. The practice this week was in. I didn't have track temperatures that reached this in the sessions I set up. So. Push to lap 60 though, we, we shouldn't have too much trouble with the tires by 60. Of course we're not, I say that and we're not pushing into the car, so. Rice getting a little bit loose entering the corner. The gap to snow behind is now 2.1. That was at 19.34. The guy behind has just done a 19.20. Yep. I think when John wants to get with it, he'll just decided to come up and catch us and pass us. Try not to get into a page again this week. Leaned on him to no, just a tiny little bit to get around two. one and two last week. We don't need to be doing that again. You've just done a 19.43. Took a trip around the outside and gave up, what, four tenths? It's a lot. And in true K5 fashion, we are rolling. This will be 18. Lap screen flag at the, the end of this one. Ahead is now well, we are not. We give it those four tenths, and now we can't can't get them back. Focus up a little bit. See if we can make this happen, but damn.
Sorry, I thought this down there go. That lap was a 19.31. That's alright, I might have put you some pace for you one way. I guess one thing I'm not doing that I'm pretty sure the leaders are doing is breaking into the corners just done a more. I'm sure they're driving it harder, breaking on entry. But as you see, like coming down the hill right there, I could feel the back end of the car was got uncomfortable. The gap to snow behind is now 2.1 seconds. Car up high. Still there, hold on. Hold your line. They're still there. Outside clear. Sorry. P22. That last lap was a 19.62. We've been called into the pits by the stewards for repairs. Reminder that the lead lap. All right. Well. On the first lap that it, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was trying to get it in gear and get it off the track. Um. So we we'll figure out what's up. Uh, Michael apologized, so yeah, we'll just we'll yeah, figure okay. out what's up and uh, figure it out. But that that could be it. Twenty-five laps in, I. I felt like I left space, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I squeezed him up into the wall. The pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Okay, Frank. So let's get you to the end of the race. Well, I'll tell you what, Jim. You just fill this shit right up, bud. Oh, that's 10 minutes. All right. Um, right. Let's go check out. What happened? Oh, and see, we were doing great on the tires. Great on the tires. So, all right, let's let's check it out. Let's hop out. Oh shit, that's my far chase cam. That's why we don't mess with the far chase cam pre-race. Because I just have to put it back. Any who's. Um, what do you think? Down just a little bit? And then we'll look up a bit. I think that's probably all right. All right, so here we are. Um, the five slides up high. We took advantage following the page through. Came down, um, kept it off the seam. Yeah, I think we just got hooked a little bit. Um, that's just one of those things. Let's take a let's take a ride with him on that and see what was going on. Got a really good run coming out of two. Once again, high. Oh, just drifted down the track a little bit. What did he do? Track a bit. So, anyway. Um, I mean, I'll hang out for the repairs and stuff, but... With the way these guys race, I really don't see a bunch of cautions coming out and us being able to pass cars that are crashed out. Does anyone know what he's idle at? So, we'll see. Check back in nine minutes or so. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit.
Watch your speed. You've got loads of fuel. Box now. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Don't cross the white line. Reminder not to pit this lap if you're on the lead lap here. Watch your speed limit in the pits. I think that was my fault. Oh. I'm not sure who salt it was then. I thought I came down a bit too much. The leader, Lemons, is pitting. My, my bad Nick, but I didn't really like Look out for the pit speed limit. You've got plenty of fuel. Box now. You never told me where mine was at. Looks like it's at about 1100, Leslie. Exit's clear. Push. Come on, six, I'm behind you. I wish you hadn't missed the pit stop. That would been an easy five points for me. Come on, you six. I'm sorry about that. That's I was trying last. to get up to you. Thank you, Alex. Nice to have you, Brian. Thank you, Come on, Frank. How's this guy? We want the lucky dog position. Well, um, sorry. Yeah, we're just trying to get the field sorted. I ended up. Thankfully, Nick cleared the black flag for the 86. We are driving a turd. But we're only here for another five laps, so... It is what it is, my man. It is what it is. I thought I had timed a pit exit about right, but when I timed it... Friggin' leaders were coming up on me, so anyway, I was just trying trying to get back out on track and not make things a mess and I timed everything exactly wrong. You've just done so that's awesome. 
super pumped about about that. I don't think I was in the way, you know. I mean, I pulled down and was creeping along, let everybody by under yellow. That lap was at twenty point four seven. Um, what I did was I got the required repairs done, then I hung around for two minutes of the optional repairs, and this thing is a turd. It's just a turd. So, um, as you can see, Michael is just a lap ahead of us, so we'll do one more lap after this one, then we're going to pull her in. Get it off the track. Watch your speed. It's fine, you got loads. Box now. Okay, well that'll be our night. Because I I don't see I don't see these guys wrecking out a whole bunch, so um anyway, that's the K5 Kern County Championship. Late model stocks. Hope you liked it.